Listen, I'm Meatloaf, and this is Steph here. It's so lovely to see you as your glamorous self, because, you know, Danny McPhee, she's not really a looker, is she? She's not a looker, darling, no. No, no it's sad, isn't it? Would you ever go back to an ex? <laughs> 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 I never have before. <laughs> See, would you get married again? Has this type of film, would it put you off marriage? Come on, Tyler, let me hear it. What's, what, what's, what? I didn't say anything. Come that's on. your answer. No, no. He thinks that's my way of saying no, it's not. But that's not the truth, really. Once upon a time, I, I was in love with a girl from Manchester. Were you? Yes. Was that me by any chance? Uh, that's not outside the range of possibility, but don't make me blush. <laughs> Just gave me a cake. Sorry. I thought you might like it. I'm going to bite you on the arm in no a second else. now. I am, of course, talking about Victoria Beckham. Yes, she came to Manchester's Harvey Nichols to launch her new perfume. There was press pens, screaming fans. It was chaotic. She didn't look very happy though, did she? Mind you, I've smelled the perfume. I wouldn't be very happy either. Daily Star today, women toy with a younger fella. Patsy Kensett mm -hmm. has had a younger oh, fella. It. Sadie Frost with Jude Law. Apparently it's the way forward now for women. Why what do you not? think? Do you go out with mean, an older woman? Absolutely. Quite open I think he's then. anything with a round neck. <laughs> <laughs> really, are you? <laughs> to be quite honest. But did Madonna, did she ask you out once and you turned her down? Is Apparently this true? Apparently so. I don't know anymore. I've forgotten. What do you it's mean? You can't memory. forget. Such a did distant you? memory. Did you? She might be on the phone again now, eh? She's young free. She might, yeah, I, I know. You never know, do you? You never know. But she's a bit veiny on the old arms, isn't she? <laughs> She is a bit, sorry. No. She is. So why do we remake on this? Did we Brits mess it up? No, you guys did a great job, but you know, nobody <laughs> wanted to see it. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you know. Do you think it's funny? I can't say, I don't, if I say that, that'll be the one quote that'll go around the world. Come on, you can tell me, Chris. <laughs> I mean, I can't get a hook at all. You don't mind playing these less attractive roles, whereas a lot of Hollywood actresses, they really wouldn't go for that. <laughs> 30 years ago, here on the streets of London's Covent Garden, one young lady from Manchester set up the very first pineapple at dance studios. As fame fever took over through the 80s, it became a globally iconic dance and fashion label. Her ethos was to dance is to live. And while I've got the, the leg warmers on, there's only one thing for it. I tell you, Irene Cara's going to have nothing on me when I'm done. Remember my name. Remember my name. with a TV, dance expert, judge, personality, anything else I've missed? General, Generally great, great young looking. Amazing guy. Dance choreographer, judge, yeah, no, she said about everything. I've yeah. said about everything. Well, you are teaching me today how to dance, sexually, fame style. Yeah, yeah. What are the key tips? You just feel as though you actually release and just, you know, once you get the steps, you feel as though you've really achieved something. It's like something that can be achieved. I'm very Stephanie. excited. I, I love you. I love I've you. Always, no, I've always admired your work. No. Always. Do you want to phone a friend on that? From the early days. Do you know? <laughs> How many times? No one has... It's called a Manchester oh, tart. That... I've been travelling oh. up on the train. It's got oh, a bit warm. So kind of you. To, to the cage. Good luck with knowing. That is so sweet. Thank <laughs> you. It's a really emotional part in the film where your son in the film looks at you and says, I don't want to die. You say to him, I'm not going to let that happen. Did you put that in the script yourself from, yeah. from your own yeah. personal life in growing up with your own son, Western? Yes. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. yeah, but I'm not going to go into detail as to what that day was. Uh, that's his private business. But, uh, yeah, so that was a memory that went right into the movie. And I suppose from that you draw on your emotions from that. Was that a big part for you through the film? It's important to me. How are you? Hello. You all right? Nice to see you. You all right? He's had a tough couple of years, but Ronnie Wood tells Sky News he's back on the straight and narrow. 60 days today, it's clean and serene. Hey, that's good. Um, looking at life in a more focused way now, and it's mm. coming out in the music as well. It's when we're not working is when the problems set in, isn't it? Music is now the focus for Ronnie Wood as he's reuniting with hard-rocking 70s band The Faces. But lead singer Rod Stewart will be missing. Where is Rod? Busy, um, he's got commitments. He's <laughs> probably doing another gig. So he's not doing it? Rod is not returning? 
you play a self-help author and also a relationship expert in the film. Is that something you can relate to? Are you good at taking advice in that form? I mean, I've been married twice and divorced twice, so I don't know if I would take marital advice. I wouldn't take advice from her. You you no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Filming was forced to stop temporarily when she heard about the death of her brother, Michael. <laughs> Was it challenging for you, obviously, getting back into character during this film? It really was. I mean, there were moments uh, like uh, smashing up the place that was very, very cathartic, very, very therapeutic for myself to be able to release in such a way. Blazing Squad have been in the studio for a chat, and this time round, they've well, actually halved in two. It was it was a <laughs> it was a musical thing. I have to stress very strongly. It was, um, you know, we uh, ever since we uh, split five years ago. They're going to create their own. Simmering, simmering squad. Simmering squad. If they do, we'll give them that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm allowed to say it. I can say it. Well, you are the king of romance, the sultan of smooth. What's the most romantic thing you've done for someone? You're getting personal now, aren't you, really? Yeah? <laughs> you say you're a romantic. I love sending flowers. I don't get any of this. This is nice you to hear. You have to give me your address and I'll send you some flowers. I, we've got you a present. It says meatloaf on it. Oh, malt loaf. <laughs> thank you. Good luck with knowing. Yeah, thank you. Case. We really appreciate you. that. Well, she's got the part as far as I'm concerned. Oh, give us a kiss. Mm. Mm. Thank now you, you, Now you, sir, go on. Is oh. it really worth it? You're loving the curves. I think we need a high five. Do you know curves. what? I'll tell you what, I think I need a hug. Oh. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Much. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, okay, you wait. I'm giving you <laughs> some old blouses that my mother's got. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Stephanie, you're the best. You are, no, you're no, the best. You're the governor.